Welcome to Lightspeed. My name is Nick. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Lightspeed restaurant K-Series POS system and we're going to focus on what POS can do for restaurants with table service. Since 2020, many traditional table service restaurants have had to transform their business model to offer delivery and takeout services. We included those elements in this video, but if you already know how these sales channels work in combination with K-Series, you can skip these sections. To recap, we will therefore look at the general appearance of the cashier system, some user functions of the cash register, table service options and multi-payment separation, order taking for takeout and delivery orders, and an overview of the reports. Let's get started. We are on the opening screen and we're about to start our day. We need a certain user right to start our service. When we start the service, we can enter our impressions of the day that is about to begin by giving an indication with the number of stars, the current weather and free notes. For example, if we wanted to take note of a public holiday that would probably affect sales volume, we can enter it here. Now that our session is open, our manager is identified. Let's start another staff member shift by clicking on the clock in or clock out button at the bottom left. Accounts can be secured either by PIN codes like Peter's account or by QR codes like John's account, so that users cannot access each other's accounts. We can notice the different user groups with which the different team members are linked. These groups allow us to assign rights to each user. A manager will, for example, be able to cancel a ticket while our staff level will not have this right. A list of rights is available and can be configured from the back office for each group. Let's click on Jess's account to get to the order taking screen. The left hand side is our order summary area. The middle is where our main screens are and the right hand side shows the subscreens or items. Order taking in table service mode. Let's take an order at table 3 by typing the table number on the keyboard and clicking the tables button. You can also select your table from your seating plan by clicking on the tables button at the bottom. We can take orders in either the seat or course view. Whichever we choose we will be able to adjust the option while taking the order. I indicate two covers. This can be automatically indicated according to the table settings in the back office. I can adjust the number of covers before, during or after taking the order. Let's say that this table orders a bottle of wine, two starters and two main courses. So let's start the order with the bottle of wine. I have now selected the bottle Gavi di Gavi. I will then select the starters and then by clicking on the add a course button I will mark the separation for the future courses and I will then add my two dishes. You can also make the position of your items in first, second or third course automatic. The order is now ready to be sent. I click on the blue send button and I'm ready to take the next order for the next table. Of course the items in the order can be printed on different printers. For example the drinks can go to the bar and the food can go to the kitchen printer. Let's see what our seating plan looks like when there are open tables. I click on the tables button at the bottom of the screen, which allows me to access my seating plan quickly. We can see that I have a floor plan for the ground floor and another one for the garden. We can see my currently open tables and the current filter options at the bottom left. The first filter shows the number of covers per table, total shows the current amount, time indicates how long the table has been open for and status shows if there are multiple courses in progress. When we click on this table we can get additional information. Now suppose that this table finishes its first course and we want to request the second. We can do this by clicking on the fire course button next to the keyboard. This will send a production ticket to the kitchen to request the next course. Once this meal is finished it is possible to print the bill and bring it to the table before payment. There are two options for payment. The two shortcut buttons for payment on the right of the numeric keypad, in this example cash and LS pay, or we can click on the green pay button which shows us all the possible payment options. 
We can finalize this transaction by selecting the payment type in the middle of the screen, adding a tip if required and by clicking the green pay button once more. If you're using our integrated Lightspeed Payments Terminal, simply click the payment method, which will allow you to automatically trigger the amount on the terminal without manual input. This will make it quicker to use your EPOS terminal, avoid input errors and also provide you with detailed reports that allow you to seamlessly track the movement of your transactions from within the Lightspeed back office. If our customers wish to split the bill, we have three options to do so. We can split the bill by item, by cover or by seat if the order was taken by seat. If we divide by item, customers will indicate the items they wish to pay for. We can select the items and will proceed with the payment. If they wish to split the bill equally, we select the by cover option which does the calculation for us. These guests want to pay for the food they have ordered and one of them will pay for the bottle of wine. We select the first guest starter and main course and then the bottle of wine. We choose the payment method and click on pay to complete the payment. Then the list of items remaining to be paid is updated and we simply choose the payment method for the second customer. Add a tip for example and validate the payment. For bill splitting, another option is to divide the items in column view. This will make it easier to collect on large tables. To do this, click on the split check button and then add the number of guests required with a plus on the right. Once the second check is in place, apply the division to the bottle of wine and then distribute the items accordingly. In order to pay for each check individually, we just press the green pay button at the bottom. Once a check has been paid, the green paid stamp will appear. If you took the order by seat, you distribute the items automatically by clicking on the distribute by seat option on the right. If you wish to use the split check option, it can be activated from the configuration page of your cash register on your back office. Now let's take a takeaway order. We'll change our order profile to takeaway by clicking the button under the text direct sales. This is where you will also find all your available discounts which you can configure according to the user profiles and available account profiles. When we select Takeaway, this will automatically assign an order number to this ticket. The Takeaway profile can of course be set as your main profile if the business is mainly Takeaway. For this order, I'm adding two coffees, selecting Espresso. We are now ready to process the payment for the customer. This time, my customer wants to pay with a gift card. So I click the green pay button and select the gift card option in the middle. When I click the pay button, the iPad camera activates and we can scan the customer's QR code on the phone. If you prefer, you can connect a socket scan S740 to scan the QR codes and even the barcodes of the products you sell. If you would like to learn more about our gift cards and loyalty options, please watch our Lightspeed K-Series loyalty video on our YouTube channel. Let's now look at how we can place an order for deliveries. A customer calls to place an order. We select our order profile the same way, but this time the delivery option. The customer orders the beef burger deal, so I select that option from my menu. I get to choose the burger, fries and a drink and add this to the order. Our solution also allows for automatic combo recognition. When an order is typed in using the individual menu items and these items form a combo, the software will detect them and ask you if you want to make it a combo or leave it as such. Now that this is all selected, I just need to add the customer to the order by clicking on the Assign Customer button next to the delivery profile. We can either select an existing customer or create a new customer profile. I'll select one, check that the details are correct and then link the account to the order. I confirm the order and it is sent to the kitchen. We can also configure the POS that the cashier is asked to select the order profile before every payment. For more information on how to integrate online delivery platforms with Lightspeed K-Series, please refer to our Lightspeed delivery video. This is also relevant for our dark kitchen customers who would like to use this checkout system for central order management and reporting. Let's take a quick look at our receipts for the day. You can find them by clicking on the receipts button at the bottom right. All receipts of the day will be displayed here. After the fiscal closure, 
the receipts will be accessible in your back office. The actions you can take here are depending on the user rights. Click on the green button to see the available options. If you wish to cancel this receipt, for example, you're presented with a list of reasons for cancellation. This reason will then be recorded in your reports with all related information, such as the user, device, time, receipt ID, items, price and reason. You can also find your key figures and your X report by going to the settings and then reports. You can either check out your daily numbers on screen or print a report. You also find a tab called Support, where you can see the phone number of the technical support team as well as all the information about your iPad. Let's move on to the back office. Lightspeed K-Series is a cloud system, so you can access your back office from anywhere at any time. When you log in, you're presented with the home page. This page summarizes your key figures, such as sales for the current day, average tickets, top sales, etc. It is also from this page that you can access the Help Center. This is accessible from the Help button on the top right. Now let's have a look at the reports. Via the menu on the left hand side you have access to the report section. When you click on it you will see two options, Dashboard and Reports. Dashboard. The dashboard is a great overview of your sales. It is an introduction to your reports and this section allows more visual data. You will find the total number of tickets, the net total, total taxes and the gross total. All of these boxes also contain a percentage change in the figure, if you decide to compare one period to another. The graph shows these figures and changes according to the filters. Overview of reports. In the section below it is also possible to have an overview of the reports with three distinct sections. The products, the departments and the employees generating the most revenue. Let's move on to the page dedicated to reports. The reports are organized by separate families. Let's take a look at some of them. The sales reports include various summaries such as the business reports. This page will give you an overview of the product groups you have sold, which we call accounting groups. The types of payment, a breakdown of taxes, your notes and additional information about your items. Your reports can be filtered again for the week, month, year or for custom periods from the top right panel. It is also possible to create different sales periods to have data by time slots. To see your takeaway sales or delivery orders, click on the Account Profiles tab. This will give you detailed information about the figures for each of your delivery channels. Your products report details the items that you have sold during a defined period, in amounts and quantities. If you wish to see the items which you did not sell, click on All Products and the unsold items will appear in grey. The Product Mix Report is one of the most customizable. It is possible to filter the data by the time frame of your choice. Different views are also available such as by Accounting Groups, Account Profiles, Categories or Products. It is possible to filter by device or by staff member, but above all, the Edit Table button allows you to manage the arrangement of the columns. This report gathers all the essential data. It is possible to put side by side more than 19 columns. The hourly performance report will give you a comparison based on your results and the average revenue per ticket including and excluding VAT. You can also check the results by staff member in the staff report and see the tips received by each. The device report shows you the same information depending on the device that processed the transactions. For the financial data, go to the Fiscal Report section, where you will find the Fiscal Report or Z Report, Fiscal Summary, Shift Reports and Cash Draw Report. If you need to search for receipts for auditing purposes, for example, select the Receipt Report and filter for a specific time period at the top right. You can order the columns or filter by using the search bar. All receipts will have a number and a list of the actions that were taken when the order was placed. A report summarizing the cancellations and corrections gives you details such as the user who made the cancellation, the ticket or item, the date, the reason and the device on which the action was taken. If you manage several outlets, consolidated reports will be available. In this section you will find aggregated data in a group view with the business, product, discount per item reports as well as data related to tax. In your consolidated products report, 
you will have a breakdown of all products sold by site, allowing you to compare them for any selected period. If you opt for our Lightspeed payment solution, you will have dedicated transaction and settlement reports with an overview of all completed transactions on one side and a settlement part that will group all movements that have been captured and deposited into your bank account on the other. Our reports can be exported in CSV, PDF or Excel format. You can also automate the sending of reports by email. To do this, click on the Configuration tab, then Settings and Automated Reports. From this page, you can choose the desired report, its frequency of sending, the recipients and the file format. The report will be sent automatically by email after the end of day. If you are interested to learn more, visit our Help Center, Video Library or get in touch with us. We are happy to assist. Have a nice rest of the day. Bye!